Hey everybody! So as you know, my name is Kianti Ashe and this is Blue Or Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be the November 2020 reading for our Taurians, okay? So Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, or North Node. It does not matter, love. If you in any way identify as a Taurus, then this reading is going to be for you, okay? Let us go ahead and get into this reading, you all. See what the messages are. If you're interested in booking personal readings with me, all that information can be found in the description box as well is how you can purchase any magical or ritual oils, candles, beads, or what have you, okay? Let us see. Spirit, what are the messages for the month of November 2020? Ooh, okay. We have the strength card, Taurus, as the first card out. So I'm feeling here where you guys are operating from a space of dignity, operating from a space of keeping your composure okay somebody may be trying to test your gangster is what i'm hearing okay your gangster is being tested all right something that you were looking forward to happening um actually didn't happen or isn't going to be happening this month okay but i feel like somebody trying to stand in your way okay that's what i feel here somebody trying to stand in your way or an opposing force trying to stand in your way you're aware of this and this might be you know why you're trying to keep your composure all right let us see what we have here we have the three of wands yep so everything is still going to work out the way that it's supposed to and you know that so you're just trying to keep it together okay um i feel like somebody wants you to to step outside of character because if you do then that potentially alters whatever you have going on or it ruins the chances for you or what have you but you knowing like i said already that somebody is up to this you're just you know keeping it together even more it's like they're expecting you to fall under pressure or something and you're just like what no all right so we have the lover's card in reverse now with this lover's energy i'm feeling that you guys um especially with it being in reverse you're feeling like Like, it's not so easy to allow somebody to come into your life because this person is very controlling, okay? This is possibly why you didn't want to deal with them in the first place, three of pentacles in reverse, because you know that you have a plan in motion and you're determined to get that plan off the ground and make everything come together the way that you see it coming together. And at this point, it's like somebody just doesn't want that to happen for you simply because they feel like you're going to leave them behind or they're not included in whatever it is you have going on. So this to you seems really, really petty and it's pissing you off. And that's why I feel here where you're trying your hardest to stay graceful or trying your hardest not to like snap yeah we have the emperor in reverse i feel like somebody isn't on your level and they know that already all right so they try to do whatever they can to try to hold you back or prevent you from reaching the level of stardom or fame or success that you're ultimately supposed to reach yeah we have the four wands in reverse this person they're not on your level okay so i feel like somebody may have gotten with you by chance okay um, by luck or maybe you were in just a place where you felt lonely at the time okay it started off as something and ended up being something completely different maybe that's also why i've been picking up lately that you guys just aren't interested in the relationship thing all right we have the knight of pentacles in reverse and the hermit in reverse yeah somebody would rather you just stay t in the house stay to yourself not really be seen by others and stuff like that and that goes against what you guys have been working on okay if you have a plan or you're trying to make something come together yeah the world card this person just doesn't want you to leave them behind okay so they're doing everything that they can to try to stand in your way eight of wands all right four of swords i feel like you're just keeping it easy right now being very calm cool and collected because you feel like you'll walk away from the situation if you have to all right because you're not with that you're, you're not with that somebody being jealous or insecure or whatever it is that has them feeling like if you get out there and go for this new opportunity or if you go to this new place that you're going to leave them behind that's okay something must be insecure within themselves i don't have nothing to do with you right so let us see what we have here. We have the neighbor swords in reverse. Yeah, so it seems like you're going to end up breaking up with this person. This has been like something that's been coming for you guys for a while. Because whoever this person is, it's like I said, um, as if they're just afraid of... Let me put it to you this way, okay? Because Spirit is telling me I can tell y'all. Y'all grown. Y'all can handle it. Somebody must have got a tarot reading or something on you, and they know that you're supposed to be successful, and they know that once you get to a certain level of success that that's going to come with certain networking opportunities, 
and they're afraid that with those networking opportunities you're going to meet somebody else you're going to meet somebody that's more aligned with what it is that you're doing or something along those lines okay let us see strength card in the upright emperor in reverse we have the eight of pentacles and we have the ten of cups yeah so they feel here that they've been working really hard in this relationship trying to show and prove themselves to you but they feel like it's just not enough they feel if you go out here and you meet somebody else that that's that's it that's all she wrote so with the chariot in reverse that's the struggle the struggle is getting the person that you're with to get on board with what it is that you want to do getting them to support you in the way that you would like them to um but they're battling insecurity so it's not the easiest we have the two of cups here so it's definitely a relationship that we're talking about okay the world card in reverse and with the lover's card in reverse please spirit world card in reverse lover's card in reverse we have the king of wands in reverse and the five of cups yeah so this person is very afraid of you becoming independent or more independent okay i feel like this person may be um dependent upon you so it potentially is a codependent situation all right and that's what they want. They want you to be in a space where you can't leave because you're you're you know, you guys are doing everything together and they don't want you to get so much of your 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 own, you know, your own pot for so much for yourself that you'll be leaving them. Okay, that's what I see. Nine of Pentacles Devil. So they're trying to keep you stuck. All right. Whether they know this or not, it may be a subconscious thing, but that's what's going on. All right, we got the Knave of Swords in reverse, three of pentacles in reverse. Let us see. All right, we have the Eight of Swords reverse. So don't sweat over this, okay? Even though you already know what's going on, don't think about it. It is very heartbreaking because, like I said, obviously you do care about this person. But I do feel a lot of emotional manipulation. I feel like this person benefits from being in a relationship with you or being connected to you romantically. Um, so that's why they're connected to you in that way, okay? This damn boob just don't want to stay in. Y'all y'all getting the show today. Y'all getting the show. All right, but that's what I feel, guys, okay? Let's see soul lessons because i feel like you guys need a soul lesson card right now considering it's a very heartbreaking situation um very touchy subject you know you can't force anybody to do something you don't want them to do but at the same time you can't allow yourself to be held back knowing what you're truly supposed to do or what you're capable of in this lifetime just because of somebody else's insecurities all right so we have purpose exactly you guys have a purpose and maybe this specific individual has yet to discover what their purpose is but it says i know what i am here to do so you know what you want to do you know what your purpose is acceptance okay so you're accepting things for what they are you know it says i am learning to accept the things that i cannot change so even though it's heartbreaking and you want to say something and you may want to go off and you may want to spaz you're like it's a smarter way i can go about doing this okay if i have to bow out i'm bowing out gracefully okay and then we have love. So, yeah, you do love the person. But like I said, at the same time, there's a lot of emotional manipulation here. And you refuse to allow yourself to put that above your purpose. All right. So with the underlying energy being relationships, spirit wants you to know that even when this relationship ends or if it ends, because um, I know a lot of people are still going to try to force it to work. But if or when this relationship ends, there's going to be someone else. OK, um, it doesn't have to be right then and there immediately. All right, guys, but it is going to be somebody else. All right. So it says, I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Underline the energy. I am attracted to those people who serve my higher good. Okay. So this is going to conclude your reading. If it was yours or you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please do go ahead and subscribe. Peace and happy.